Okay, so this is going to be a different video. I just received in the mail um, a box that contained uh, most of my CDs from when I was a kid. And um, so I figured I'm just going to, I haven't seen the, I haven't seen, honestly, my the, the box, um, my cousin out in Virginia had it. And it was out there for, well, well I think over 10 years. So um, I thought I'd just go through it. Just some people can go, hey, what's that? Or who are they? And as some of them, some people who watch this video will think, hey, look, this is something like nostalgic or whatever. Anyways, I'll just go through them because it's pretty funny, actually. I got a kick out of looking at it. So we will start. So the first you could see, the Eels, material, is, uh, yeah, material issue. Uh, this one, uh, that's Liz Fair, Whip Smart. I really like that CD when I was a kid. And <laughs> Ministry, that's Ministry, like Jesus Built My Hot Rod. That was a cool CD. I really like that too. Next. Where am I going to put these? got to think. Oh, right here. That'll work. Okay, the next one. Um, oh, some Radiohead. It's the Benz and OK Computer. Both were great, great albums. I listened to them a ton. Uh, Depeche Mode, both the Violator album and Music for the Masses album. Listen to those a ton as well. Those are excellent, excellent albums. You can see here's the, the CDs. Oh, God. The Goo Goo Dolls. Um, I don't think I really listened to that one very much. It wasn't that good. Um, I think I got, like, used. The Cranberries, I did listen to that a decent a little bit. I had, like, Zombie and whatever. Uh, I really loved this Morphine album. It was so good. It was just different than anything out. Loved it. This was great. This Cure for Pain, awesome album. Awesome album. And this is going to be part one. I'm going to do a, a multi-part series. Uh, Soul Coughing. Uh, you know, Mike Doty is still putting out great albums. I really loved uh, Soul Coughing. Um, so, and hopefully going to see them in a couple months. Or see Mike Doty, the lead singer. Uh, Bob Mould. I was a big Bob Mould fan, too. I really enjoyed Bob Mould. He's, of course, a Minnesota guy, as myself. I can look at the albums. I forgot to show that. I really like that album cover. It was cool. Soul Coughing. All right. Yeah, I'm sure what this is going to also do is date me. <laughs> but is what it is. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. Okay, so Stone Temple Pilots. Lots of Stone Temple Pilots. There's all my STP. There's a lot of STP. This is interesting. In the back, I noticed something. Stone Temple Pilots. This is the Foo Fighters album. This is in the wrong spot. We will just take this out, put it aside, because I believe... If I am not mistaken, that album, the CD for the Stone Temple Pilots, is right up here. I still occasionally pick up some CDs. It doesn't happen very often anymore, to tell you the truth, just because Hoog has CDs. But whatever. Uh, sometimes I buy them because I'm like at a concert or whatever, and I feel like supporting the artist. So I'll pick up something, and then sometimes I don't. That's the church. Uh, let's see if I have it. I thought I... Nope, I don't have it here. I thought I did. Anyways, I do have the album somewhere floating around. Uh, STP. I really liked STP quite a bit when I was a kid. Uh, now, so-so. I had, oh, oh, Matthew Sweet. I like that album. Uh, it was 100% fun. I think I like better because I think that had the good stuff on it. Um... Oasis, What's the Story, Morning Glory. I feel like everybody had the album. I liked it. Didn't love it. Uh, Jets to Brazil. Really cool album. I dig that album quite a bit. Um, I heard that when I was at the record store, and I was like, what is this? And they're like, oh, dude, this is Jets to Brazil. Brazil, check it. And I'm like, all right. Bought it. Loved it. Cool. <clears throat> uh, Jimi Hendrix, Ultimate Experience and Woodstock album. Both fantastic. I remember this one I listened to ridiculously, religiously, all the time. Then this Doors Greatest Hits I listened to. And The Police, Every Breath You Take Greatest Hits. That was really good. I enjoyed both of those albums. There they are. They are in the correct ones. Cool. <laughs> Counting Crows and Godsmack. Godsmack, I liked one song, but it just never really stuck with me. It wasn't my style. Same with Counting Crows. Like, just okay, but whatever. Uh, the Sundays, this one I really liked. Um, the Sundays stack and sounds was just okay, but I really liked this one by um, The Sundays. Here's where the story ends. 
That was a promotional. <laughs> Funny. Oh, Primus. Primus and Soul Asylum. Let Your Dim Light Shine. Another Minnesota band. Love them a lot. Uh, Primus. Still love Primus because they're awesome. There's actually a new album out by the lead singer of Primus. Um, yeah, God, Primus. Pork Soda. Oh, crazy album. Kind of love that album. Listen to it so often. Good stuff. Soundgarden. That was a good album. Uh, I really liked it because that was like the getting all the best, like all their singles. That was cool. Rob Zombie, I dug that album. Nine Inch Nails, I really liked. That was fun. Uh, both um, Downward Spiral and Pretty Hate Machine. Good albums. Oh, there's the other side. Rob Zombie always had fun stuff on his albums. Um, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Californication. This would have been one of my last... God, nearly one of the last CDs that like bought during my CD buying time. Fiona Apple and the Red Dot Chili Peppers. Lots of Red Dot Chili Peppers. You can see, cool. Is this? Oh, here's Foo Fighters. Hey, hey I bet you. Uh, is this? Let's see. Which Foo Fighters album was that one? I had in there. Huh. Well, there's a Foo Fighters album in there, but no Foo Fire. Is that, let's see, there's Foo Fires right there. I This album that came out was awesome. I loved it. I really liked this one, but this was the bomb. Uh, Elastica and Ben Folds 5. God, this is so, so 90s. I don't think this is Foo Fires. Is it? Clearing the shape. Nope, that's right. Yep, 95. That would be it. Huh, well, that's weird. I don't remember what that... That other Foo Fighters album was Bjork on the Sugar Cubes. Man, I love Bjork. Loved, well, still love her. She's great. All great albums. The Sugar Cubes I really loved a lot too. That's a really cool album. There's Bjork CDs. And Nirvana. Unplugged. Who didn't have that? Such a brilliant album. Just loved it. Um, In Utero, also a fantastic album, and then Nevermind. Nevermind was just classic. That's actually my second copy. My first copy I listened to so much that I actually, like, it wore down the CD. Uh, and there they are. Cool albums. <laughs> Green Day. Man, I listened to a lot of Green Day. Green Day, Warning, uh, Insomniac, Dookie. Man, that one I listened to so much. His Dookie was crazy. Listen to that like nuts. All the Green Day albums. <laughs> I was a big fan of Garbage. Last one I bought was Beautiful Garbage. Yeah. And the My My Boss Tone. So 90s. <laughs> so, so 90s. I, as a, as a college kid, man, Shirley Manson, I was absolutely in love with her. Really great voice. Beautiful. Cool. Jane's Addiction, one of the first, like, concerts I went to. I think I was, like, 15 or 16 years old. Saw Jane's Addiction play at Lollapalooza 1. Whew. That dates, huh? <laughs> and the Mazzy Star was a big fan. But man, Ritual De Lo, Habitual. I listened to that a ton. Such a cool album. Next. Oh, Alice in Chains. Wish Jar of Flies. Dirt. I remember buying Dirt and not knowing what I was getting myself into. Like, oh, what is this? And then just being blown away. Great albums. Cool. I don't really listen to this stuff anymore because I just, I like finding new music, but it's fun to just kind of look at these old CDs. Sugar, I was a big fan of Sugar. Listen to them all the time. Copper Blue and, e and File Under Easy Listening and the B-Sides one. And The Offspring. <laughs> Ixte on the Ombre. That was a good album. I liked it. Yep. Oh. That's... I wonder what that one is. That one is the Sugar. Wow, I wonder what that album is. Or where it is. Huh. Probably somewhere. Now, some of these are not going to have colors. So this one down here is Pearl Jam Yield and Lemonheads. So some of these will be like the Pearl Jam albums because they didn't have, um, it came in like uh, reusable packaging. So that's what those are. That's all Pearl Jam. Listen to Pearl Jam 8. Pearl Jam. 
if I didn't, uh, I'm surprised I didn't wear this album, album out. This is my original copy of Pearl Jam 10. Man, I listened to that a lot. It was awesome. I remember waiting in line in the store midnight to get this album. It was such a big deal. You know, you're never, that's never going to happen again. Nobody's ever going to have to wait in line. I mean, maybe not even for a video game anymore. Like, nothing. You're not going to wait in line for music or a movie. Maybe go see a movie in, in a theater. Beck, uh, I'm a huge Beck fan. Even today, like, the Beck is one of the ones of these guys that I have actually do listen to. Mellow Gold, I remember when I was, like, 18 and had the album and just played it nonstop over and over and over again. Odelay, fantastic album. Mutations and Midnight Vultures, fantastic albums. I always loved that, the look of that CD. Cool. Um, Semi-Sonic, Minnesota Band. Saw them in concert, loved them. I mean, they're kind of cheesy, but I dug them. Uh, R.E.M. Tom Petty, you know, I had that, but um, I didn't really listen to him very much, to tell you the truth. It's just okay. Getting near the end here. Um, Smashing Pumpkins. Um, man, I was a huge fan. This Machine album I really loved. Melancholy was <laughs> ridiculous. Listen to that a ton. Ooh, Machina is missing. Where's Machina? Is it this one? Oh, it's Foo Fighters. <laughs> There's nothing left to lose. I wonder where I had that. Um, yeah, cool. And the last one. Um, this one I can honestly say I listened to the least of all these. Heather Nova had one really good song and nothing else I really listened to. Three Doors Down. Cumbersome, I think, was their one song. I don't even know why I bought it. Um, it was okay. Am Sandler. I, I don't know why I bought that either. And this is Supergrass. I do remember buying this because I really like Supergrass. Pump it on your stereo is the bomb. Uh, yeah, cool. All right, well, thanks for watching this vid. This has uh, been a little nostalgic trip down memory lane. Uh, I have at least one more case of these I'm going to do. So if you dug the video, let's pop this back up. Give it a like. Share it. Watch it. Love it. Uh, subscribe, and uh, I will check you later. Green Star, out.